Those of you who have been tuning into the channel for a while now would know that my main gigging rig is a Fractal AX8 and recently I've been on the lookout for a little backup rig that I can fit into my guitar bag or case in the very very slim chance that the AX8 rig goes down or gets lost or you know somebody spills a beer on it or something like that so today we're going to have a look at the RK5 by Tech21. It's their Richie Kotzen fly rig. We're going to go through a couple of different tones using it both direct and into an amplifier. But first, let's have a look at the specs. I've been a big fan of the fly rig concept for quite a while now. The first one I saw, I believe, was the original fly rig they came out with. My buddy Chris Gibbs had one. If you haven't checked out his YouTube channel either, please do so. He's an amazing player and a great, great teacher. So that was my introduction to the fly rig, and he was using it with a powered speaker, and it was sounding amazing. So this RK5 is obviously the Richie Kotzen version of it, and you've got a boost function, which can give you up to 20 dB of boost on this little knob here. Then you've got their Richie Kotzen OMG Overdrive level tone and drive controls. Then you've got the amplifier and speaker modeling section, which is derived from the Tech 21 Sans Amp series. So you've got level, high, mid, low, and drive just like an amp. There's also reverb in that section. And then you've also got a delay at the end with a level control, repeats, drift, and time, because based on a tape echo, the drift control kind of emulates some of that tape warble. On the back, very simple in and out and a power connection. So that's it. It's tiny, it fits in a guitar case, that's the whole idea, and you can get some pretty usable tones out of it. Let's have a listen. Alright, so we'll start off by running the fly rig direct. Here is my direct guitar signal. This is a PRS SC245 with the stock pickups. And I'm going to show you guys the tone that I've dialed in that I think will get me closest to what I'll be able to use live playing with Ragdoll. Uh, this is what the Sans app sounds like. And here it is with the OMG on. I can also then kick in the delay and the boost if I want to solo. So that's a straight up direct sound. It's not too bad considering the size, that's very, very nice. What I'll do now is I will play with that same sound, but I'll apply some post EQ, what I expect. A sound man would do it aboard at a live gig to make this work a little bit better so that you guys can get an idea of this sitting in a mix. I think that works a whole lot better and that's a more realistic representation of what this would be like using it live. That's how I intend on using the fly rig for the money and for the size that is going to be fine as a backup for gigging with. What I would like to do now is I will give you guys an idea of some of the tones that you can get out of this thing if you want to get in there and tweak it for your own needs. So we'll swap to fly rig vision. <laughs>
advantage with the fly rig is if you're using backline, say you're doing a fly gig or a festival and you don't want to take your whole pedal board but you know you're going to have a semi-decent amp as a backline amp. In this case I've got a Marshall JCM 2000 DSL 100 which is kind of a pretty standard backline amp, either that or an AC30 or you know a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe or a JCM 900. They seem to be the go-to backline amps these days. What you've got with the uh, RK5 fly rig is you've got a great boost, overdrive, and delay. So it's pretty much all the things I need to do a gig anyway. Here is the slightly crunchy sound I've got dialed in with the DSL. You can hear when I play on the bridge pickup, it gets really crunchy. So that would be a good bass kind of rhythm tone. And then you can either throw the boost on top of that, or you can throw the OMG section on top of that for more of a tight, chunky hard rock metal tone. And if I turn the drive up on the OMG. Alternatively, I can use the drive and the boost. So I think that sounds a lot better than running it direct, however you're not always going to have a backline amp available in which case you can go direct with the fly rig, just use the sans amp section. If you've got an actual amp, turn the sans amp section off and you've got a great portable multi effects. Tell me what you think about the RK5 fly rig in the comments, let me know what you thought of the tones and as always if you enjoyed these videos please hit subscribe.